everyone, welcome to my channel, 10 Ways to Wear It, your home for relatable, wearable, and affordable fashion. I'm Alicia, and today's video is all about styling your favorite blazers for fall. I think of blazers as the ultimate fall staple. It's great for transitioning into fall, and it's just an overall wonderful item to have. And I'm gonna be showing you 10 different ways that you can style your favorite blazer. So if you need some new ideas to style the ultimate fall staple, let's go ahead and jump right into this video. I got some great outfits to show you guys. Alrighty folks, here is my first blazer look, and I'm gonna call this my matchy matchy blazer look. I definitely think a suit is ideal for fall, and these pieces from Target certainly come together like a nice little skirt suit. I have on this plaid blazer and plaid skirt. They're both by the A New Day collection from Target. Paired it with some black tights also from Target and some black booties that are about four or five years old from ASOS. I also have a nice little elegant black bag. And like I said, this is a great look for fall. Tights are something that I just think are synonymous with fall. I've always loved wearing tights, so a nice pair of opaque tights with a cute little short skirt like this is always gonna look good, especially when you throw on a nice clean cut blazer with the look. I love the way this came together. So if you work in an office, if you work at a school, if you're some type of administrator, I think this is a really cute look. The tights make the short skirt a little more conservative. And yeah, I love the way this came together. My little matchy matchy blazer look. I'll give you guys a spin. And that's what we're working with on our first outfit. Let's go ahead and get into another one. Another great way to rock your blazers this fall is to pair them with leggings. That can be full leather leggings or regular leggings, like some type of lycra leggings. Anything that'll hold you in and keep you nice and warm will work. I paired this blazer from H&M. It's a Letterman blazer with my faux leather leggings from Amazon. I also decided to go with some cognac accessories. So I threw in these cognac boots, which I've had for a few years from ASOS, a cognac wide belt from Amazon, and this little bag from Shein. And I decided to go with the turtleneck, but you can always do a crew neck, a button down, whatever you're most comfortable with. And if you live in like a climate that gets really cold in the fall, this is a great look. You can always just drape a nice overcoat on top of your shoulders and you're out the door in an outfit like this. And I think this is such an easy and simple way to wear a blazer, boots, leggings, turtleneck, blazer, and a bag, and you out the door. This is such a nice and easy look. And I think it's composed of elements that most of us already have in our closet. So yeah, really cute look, easy way to style your blazer, pair it with leggings. Okay, so here's a fun way to wear your blazers this fall, and that is to mix prints. You all know that I love a good mixed print vibe, especially if it's incorporating camo. And baby, if you didn't know that zebra and camouflage are a thing, well now you know, okay? <laughs> so in this look, I paired my camouflage pants that I thrifted a while back with a black mesh insert bustier that is from Mikas.com. And I threw on this zebra blazer that's a recent purchase from nastygal.com. And I threw on another recent purchase which are my zebra printed Amazon The Drop heels. And they are almost an exact match to this blazer. Kept my bag pretty simple. Y'all gonna see this bag a lot because this, is, this has been my little go-to bag for the videos lately. But I do wanna keep it simple when it comes to the bag with a look like this because the outfit itself is already doing a lot. And so when it comes to that, you kind of want to keep your bag a little simple, unless you're just going for like that extreme maximalist look, then it's okay to do like a gold clutch or something like that. But in this case, I kind of want to bring it down with the bag, but I love this outfit. I think it's so jazzy and fun, and it's a great way to style up a blazer for a going out look, a date night look, if I just want to really stand out, really turn heads and make people look at me, this is something I would wear. Because you know, when you mix patterns like this, People gonna look twice, they're gonna look twice, so you can be prepared, but I really, really like this look. I think it's a little sexy, a little fun, and very, very cute. So yeah, great way to wear your blazers this fall, mix them with other prints. If you're thinking about mixing camouflage, I think it goes great with just about anything. Polka dots, leopard stripes, um, of course zebra, which I'm wearing now. Camouflage goes with a lot of different things, plaids. So you can pretty much mix camo with any blazer that you have that's plaid, polka dot, whatever and it's gonna look cute. So try that out, ladies. On to the next look. So now we're getting into a really great work appropriate way to wear your blazer, and that is with a wide leg pair of pants. Now, the pants I'm wearing are plaid. That's a great way to go, but you can also do stripes. You can do something with a cute little pattern on it. Pair it with a nice clean cut white button down shirt 
or in my case this is my white button down bodysuit from forever 21 which is even better because these forever 21 plaid pants are very high waisted so wearing a bodysuit just kind of keeps everything nice and smooth and then to finish it off the piece de, de resistance let me say it right the pierce de resistance <laughs> is my Banana Republic Captain's Blazer. I love this blazer. I invested in this blazer and it was worth every penny. Um, I think it finishes off this outfit perfectly. You guys can't see, but these pants actually have blue running through them and a little taupe. And so this navy blue blazer is like the perfect complement to these pants. And I'll give you a little spin. Decided to throw on some simple square toe booties with a black heel, but you can always do some stiletto booties with something like this as well. You can even do sandals if you wanted to, like some open toe heels would be cute for work as well. But I love this look. I think it's a great way to style up a blazer for work. So you ladies that have to go into the office looking professional, here's some looks for y'all. I have a couple more maybe that might work, but um, this is definitely one of them. So super cute. On to the next one. Another great way to wear your blazers this fall that will give you an edge is to wear it with a modal vest on top. I am so in love with this look. You guys know I love a contrast to my outfits. And in this outfit, I'm wearing a preppy blazer. This blazer is by the brand Pendleton. I don't even want to think of the retail value of this blazer because Pendleton is super expensive. But I got it at the thrift store. It was one of my lucky thrift finds. And I paired it with this oversized moto vest from Nasty Gal. I decided to throw it on top. Underneath, I have on my Forever 21 bodysuit. It's like a button-down shirt that's basically a bodysuit. And I have on frame denim jeans from Nordstrom, stiletto booties from ASOS. And I decided to do a yellow bag because this blazer actually has yellow piping in it that are the same color of this bag. So I decided to kind of tie in with the yellow that you all can't see. But I really like this look. I think the, adding the moto vest on top of the blazer just adds the perfect edge, the perfect kind of street chic type of look. And I'm feeling this 100%. I cannot wait to wear this outfit in New York. I'm going to New York with my boyfriend. It's going to be his first time going. So you know we got to show up and show out. I'm going to be fly every day, every minute of the day, okay? Because <laughs> I really do like New York. But yeah, cute look. Easy to recreate. You can find these vests all over the place these days. I've linked a few in the description. I've also linked some similar blazers for you all. So yeah, super cute look. Throw on your distressed jeans. Little blazer button down. Put on that moto jacket on top and spin out the whole look into something completely unexpected. I'm feeling this. And if you throw in a yellow bag like I did, I mean, girl. <laughs> did we not nail the street chic vibe here? I think we did. Let's move on to the next one. Another great way to wear a blazer this fall is to add a pop of red, whether that be the blazer itself, a shirt underneath the blazer, red pants, red shoes. There's a lot of ways to add a little pop of red to your outfit, but I think this is such a cute look for fall. Red is just one of those colors that I think of when I think of fall. I think of browns, oranges, reds, grays, all that fall stuff. Y'all know how it goes. But yeah, if you're the type of person who likes to kind of get dressed for the work holiday party, but you don't want to wear a seat and metallics and stuff like that this is a really great way to create like a festive look but still look you know clean cut and not be doing the most so I'd say put together a red blazer outfit for something like that and you won't be disappointed but I love this look I'm wearing a striped shirt this is from H&M I've had it for a couple of years I paired it with these sailor style fitted trousers from Zara threw on my mango double breasted blazer and my loafers from ASOS that you've seen in a ton of videos Simple black bag, I told y'all this bag is gonna be getting on y'all nerves because I just don't feel like pulling out other bags. But yeah, I love this look. So clean cut, perfect for work, perfect for an occasion, and definitely ideal for when the weather starts to get a little bit cooler. So I love this one, this pop of red. It's doing it for me, y'all. <laughs> I'm feeling it, but we're gonna go ahead and move on. So in this next look, we are kind of dressing the blazer down. So even though I'm pairing it with a white dress, I still consider this dress down because I'm wearing sneakers for one and the blazer itself is kind of oversized and loose fitted. And what I'm wearing is a blazer from ASOS. 
this is a very soft blazer it's pretty flowy in my opinion it's not one of those like really structured hard blazers it just kind of hangs off the body and it's oversized and i love that because when i want to go for that look where i just have on a blazer that almost looks like a sweater or a duster this is the blazer that i reach for and i actually have this one in black as well but i threw it on top of this shirt dress from carl lagerfeld i've had this for a couple of years but I did find some similar options to link for you all. And on the feet, like I said, we're going with sneakers. So I have on my New Balance 327s. These are the tan ones with the leopard um, in on the side. And same old bag, y'all already know. Y'all, like I told y'all, this bag gonna get on y'all nerves. But um, I love this look. Normally I would style this with kind of an edgier bag. I actually do have a bag that I wore with this outfit when I wore it. But I didn't feel like pulling it out. But this is just a really cute, casual, nice weekend look. You know, if you're just going to walk around at a flea market, running around, running your errands, going to a casual lunch. This is a really great look to wear. And you're comfortable, you're cute, you're polished because you got on a blazer. And you can do any white dress underneath that works for you. Whether that's a short one, midi length, long one. And you can always do some cute little slides if you don't wear sneakers. So, really cute look. Great way to dress down the blazer. Throw it on with a nice casual dress, some sneakers, and yeah, you're out the door. This is yet another great way to wear your blazers this fall. Now you saw a look featuring faux leather leggings, but a faux leather skirt or a leather skirt is definitely a level up. And this is a look you can wear to work. Of course, you want your skirt to be appropriate for the work environment. And, but this is a great look. I love it. I love it for going out, like a dinner night in the fall. I love it for a date night. I love it for like, you know, just anything where you want to look classy, a little sexy, a little cute. I'm wearing a faux leather skirt from Shein. The quality of this skirt, off the charts for the price. I will link it. And I paired it with my knee high boots from Nasty Gal, a black crew neck knit top from Zara. And I love this top because it has the little button details on the sleeves. I'll link this one for you as well as another option that I found on Shein. And I paired it with a menswear plaid blazer. This is like a mixed plaid blazer. I love men's blazers because they usually are a little longer and they just hit right in the perfect spot. Especially if you're wearing it with like a short skirt, perfect length. And simple bag here. I already used this bag in another look. This is from Shein. And I also threw on my faux leather newsboy hat from Forever 21. Baby, you can't tell me nothing in this outfit. I love this outfit. I actually feel really cute in this and this is certainly something that's going to be on my list of outfits for London. I think this was look so cute walking down the streets of London. So yeah, expect to see this in that vlog. But yes, honey. Yes, honey. We are feeling this look, but we're going to move on. This next look is definitely one of my favorite ways to wear a blazer year round. And that is with a t-shirt, whether that's a plain t-shirt or a graphic tee. I love to wear them underneath blazers because you all know I love contrast and when you pair a t-shirt which is kind of like a dress down type of item with a blazer it generally adds a nice little contrast and creates a very fresh unexpected look. I decided to go with this striped t-shirt. This is from H&M. This is a recent purchase. I was about to say Fashion Nova. Uh, I need to stay out of Fashion Nova, y'all. I'm already about to say it in place of other places. But anyway, this is from H&M. It's a recent purchase, but I know it's gonna be popular, but I will link it. Hopefully it's still available by the time I put up this video, but I'll link another option as well that's similar. And I paired it with my J. Crew jeans. Now, if y'all didn't get these jeans, when I told you to get these jeans, then baby, get these jeans, okay? You know I am not curvy, but these jeans make it look like I'm popping out, honey, okay? <laughs> In all the best ways. So these are definitely worth the investment. But I paired it with my J. Crew jeans, my square toe boots from ASOS, and the blazer itself is, of course, my captain's blazer from Banana Republic. This is the best blazer ever. And I styled up the navy one already, but the black one is where it's at, baby. The black one is just it. Like, it's something about the gold buttons. It's red underneath the collar. Like, it's just, it's definitely giving money, yacht, rich husband vibes. None of which I have, but all of which I want. <laughs> but yeah, I love this look. Threw in a different bag for y'all. Okay, I finally pulled out another bag. I threw in a white bag to go with the black and white stripes instead of my general black bag. But I love it. So nice, right? It's like all the elements are there in this look polish but you got your jeans so it's kind of casual it's fun you got the little Paris tee definitely will be rocking this in London or Paris so yeah expect to see that but um so cute I love this look I could stay in this all day but 
it's like 90 degrees outside so we're gonna move on to the last look <laughs> Hey, here is my last look in the video. Oh, I'm sad you all like I really really would love to do more But I don't want this video to be too long. I want it to be very precise And at some point I will start kind of repeating the styles if you will so last look y'all and I think I saved the best for last Like the song says you win and saved the best Let me not sing for last, okay? <laughs> but I really, really love this look. I paired this menswear wool blazer from ASOS with a button down kind of taupe colored shirt underneath, and of course, a tool skirt that you can't miss. This is a chocolate brown tool skirt from Amazon. I threw on my chocolate brown um, INC heels from Macy's, threw in a brown bag, and of course, I belted the look with the suede wide belt from Zara because I thought a nice belt to cinch in would really kind of emphasize. The big skirt and I love it to say I love this look is an understatement I think this is such a cute fun feminine look perfect for like an NYC fancy dinner or you know just something where you want to be jazzed up this is certainly a really really cute look and when it starts to cool off if you're still doing like concerts and stuff like that I think this could be cute for like a grown-up concert you know what I'm saying like a maze and Frankie Beverly type of moment you know, definitely not future or usher, uh, but um, I really like this look. I think it's so cute. So yeah, had to give this one to you guys because this is, it's just such a fun, cute little blazer look. And I hope all of these looks will inspire you all for blazer season because it's definitely approaching. I know it might be still pretty warm out for a lot of you guys right now like it is for me, but my mind is always on fall, so I don't really care. <laughs> I don't really care about summer y'all I gotta be real with you I'm always thinking about fall so especially when it comes to fashion I just love fall so yeah hope this will help you guys out thank you all so much for checking out this video all about how to style your favorite blazers for fall I really hope you enjoyed it I hope you got some great ideas so that when you start pulling out those blazers you can style them up and look super cute all fall long now you guys saw all of my looks but I want to go ahead and insert some additional Pinterest inspiration as much as I would love to give y'all a hundred outfits I can't do it but I found about a hundred on Pinterest these looks are so wonderful and it really shows the versatility of a blazer you can do different styles of blazer different textures different patterns and just have so much fun with them and I think of them as a year-round item because I do wear blazers in the spring I wear them in the summer sometimes but I think when it comes to fall it's time to like slay the blazer so these are some wonderful looks that I found on Pinterest and I wanted to share them with you all because I just couldn't not do it I had to share them with y'all like as I was just doing my research for this video and trying to like really come up with my own ideas after the fact, I went on Pinterest and girl, I was like, oh my God, so many other ways I could have given y'all, but I just wanted to keep the video short, simple, and sweet. So I hope you liked all of my looks as well as my Pinterest inspiration. Of course, I went ahead and linked all of the blazers that I shared in this video, as well as the pieces that I styled them with in the description. If my blazers are old, no longer available, or low in stock, I've linked similar options. And I did my best to find some plus size options as well. Although with some of the items, it can be hard to do, like trust me, it's hard like I've been a plus size girl most of my life and so when I was it was just hard to find stuff so I did my best y'all so check that description if you want to recreate any of my looks before you go make sure you are subscribed and of course to all my regulars I hope you guys enjoyed this video and yeah I'm looking forward to fall this weather out here in California has been cray cray I mean we had a damn tornado we y'all we've been having a little mini hurricane it's crazy out here and I'm ready for fall. I'm ready for the coziness of fall, the quiet of fall. I'm ready for fall suits. I'm ready for scarves. I'm ready for gloomy weather. I can go on and on, but I won't. I will see you all on the next video. Stay tuned for more great fall content. I love you guys. Bye.